Hey guys, CJ back here with a, another video. So I just want to ask you guys a question. How many of you are familiar with Teespring? Like I've heard that name before. I've I've seen other YouTubers they have buttons or links to their Teespring shops, like merchandise and stuff, like hats, whatever, shirts. Um, I got an email a few days ago now on my official TJ email, the blindgamer.team one, uh, with from Teespring about starting a shop and doing merchandise, all that type of stuff. Because I have enough. I have a decent following, I guess, over here on YouTube and some on Twitter or whatever. So, I want to ask you guys, how many of you are familiar with Teespring and um, how that works? Because I, I've looked it up and I have, an, I have a bit of an understanding with it where, like, I create shirts. I could do shirts, mugs, socks, hoodies, just a, just a bunch of different things, and you guys can buy them, right? So, like, a little TJ merchandise type stuff, right? Um, so I, I get all that, but the, the the tricky part I'm understanding is when I click, for example, I click say create hoodie, like just a basic hoodie, not a premium, just a basic standard pullover hoodie. It says product cost eighteen dollars or something like that. So I'm, I'm, does that mean that I pay eighteen or you guys pay eighteen? That's that's the thing I'm, I'm not sure there. Um, but if I can get things working with Teespring and figuring out designs and stuff. Um, I might be able to show you guys some of that, and if you guys are interested in buying some of that stuff, then let me know, and I'll, I'll see about actually making effort to get that done. Um, I mean, I'll probably just do it anyway, just for the hell of it, because I have nothing else to do, but, yeah, like, I don't know, what do you guys think about, like, uh, TJ the Blind, TJ the Blind Gamer, like, shirts and hoodies and mugs, I guess, and socks and other, other stuff. Uh, there's also stuff like, I could do, like, posters, I think, and other other bunch of different things so I don't know like I, I'm excited I'm interested to see how this goes the only problem is I don't want to do it and nothing come from it if that makes sense and so yeah I just want to want to know your guys' thoughts on it like what do you guys think about me doing a teespring type stuff um, also I'm curious about you guys' opinions on uh, Mortal Kombat do you guys want to keep seeing Mortal Kombat videos and streams X, not 11, X, I don't know if I'll get 11, um, and the third thing I was wondering is, do you guys want to see playing with randoms? I used to do that back in Black Ops 3 Zombies, because I knew the menus enough to pick what maps I wanted to play with randoms, right? Black Ops 4 is different, so it's a little more tricky. The only maps I feel confident I can play with randoms in for a bit before going down a lot are Blood and Classified, so I'm just letting you guys know, if you guys want to see with randoms, it'll most likely be with Blood and Classified, maybe a bit of Nine or Ancient Evil or something, but... Typically, if I play with randoms, it'll be blood or classified. Most likely classified, because it's the easiest map. Um, but yeah, so those, that's just a quick little update video. Asking you guys what you guys think about all this, like, possible TJ merchandise and uh, Mortal Kombat and playing with randoms. So th those are the three topics. If you guys could leave a comment replying to any of those topics down below, I'd appreciate it. Um, again, the, the one I'm mostly curious about are the playing with randoms thing again and the, the whole Teespring merchandise type stuff. Um, and if you guys have any information or any help or advice with Teespring, I'd love to hear it down below if you guys have any with you or have any advice. Um, next vi next time I stream, I don't know what I'll stream. I don't know when exactly because my internet's been kind of weird. So I might just do videos for a little bit, let my internet chill out, and then try streaming later this week. I don't know. My, me and my brother are supposed to see Pikachu thing Tuesday because my brother wants to see it. I'm like, all right, sure, I'll take you. I did see Endgame, and I just quick synopsis. I loved Endgame. It's my f probably my favorite Marvel movie, just for the pure n nerd factor. Um, I'm not gonna get into spoilers just in case people haven't seen it, but like honestly, dude, I cannot say anything negative about Endgame. Honestly, I love it. It's awesome. Anyway, so those those just a brief update recap to talk to you guys for a sec. Let me know thoughts uh, down below. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next video I'll do, I'm gonna do another perk uh, setup for camping on the elevator and class, camping in the elevator, elevator and classified, and camping on the gondola on Blood of the Dead. So they're two slightly different perk setups, but you're basically camping either way with an escape. So there you go. Um, I'll do the camping for classified video first, and then Blood next. I'll probably upload it tomorrow. Don't expect a 10 minute long video. Probably a minute or two. Maybe three if I push it and stretch it, but yeah. So just that's I'm thinking that, or maybe I'll just upload it all in tonight. I, don't, I I haven't decided yet. Anyway, 
yeah, I, I, I'm rambling on long enough. I hate allergies. Don't forget to comment down below. Bye.